Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Ashley. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to do these monthly. We are doing another Trash Talks video. If you're new here, Trash Talks for me is basically my empties videos. So all the products that I've used up in the last, I'm trying to do it monthly just so I don't end up with like over like a hundred products, which I have done in the past. So I'm trying to be a little bit better and do it kind of monthly so we can show the products, my little mini reviews and move on to the next one. If you enjoy empties, trash talk videos, give this video a like thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing. I talk about all things beauty here. I have super oily skin, so beauty that caters towards oily skin. I love drugstore, I love high end, I'm all for healthy lifestyle and well being. So, that all sounds great to you. Consider subscribing to my channel, but let's just jump right in to this month's Trash Talks. So, I'm gonna start off with skincare first, and this will be absolutely no surprise. It is my La Roche Posay Epicla Cleanser. This is an amazing cleanser, I absolutely love it, although I have moved away from this one. If you don't really suffer, from like breakouts but you just have like oily skin this is a great cleanser but if you suffer from acne prone skin and need something with a little bit of salicylic acid to really just keep those breakouts at bay this is the one that you're going to want to go for this is the La Roche Posay Epicla but it's the gel micro peeling cleanser so they're both the Epicla range but this one is going to really help with breakouts. This one is great if you have sensitive oily skin. So depending on your needs as an oily skin person, um, both of these ones are great. If you have acne, this one. If you don't have acne, this one. So they're great. Get them from Priceline or Chemist Warehouse. Absolutely love them. They're super affordable and you can pretty much always get them on sale. So they're still love them. Highly recommend. We'll continue to repurchase. Next up, I have another product from La Roche Posay. This is the Ciro Zinc. It is basically like a toner. I use this in the mornings after I've cleansed my face, apply a bit of this, and then I go in with my serums and moisturizers. I have run out of it. I haven't repurchased it as of yet. I'm waiting for it to go on sale because it is pricey, um, but I do really like it and do recommend. It is really great as well to use as a makeup finishing spray because of the zinc in it. It helps to mattify and control the oil, so it's a great option for setting down your makeup as well. So kind of a two-in-one product. It's awesome. Love it. Would 100% repurchase. Next up, I have a moisturizer. This is the Clinique Dr Dramatically a Different Gel uh, Moisturizer. This is what it looks like here. Look, I do really like this moisturizer, but I hate the packaging. It is so annoying. You can't get into all these little spaces up here. I've tried to put my fingers in and dig it out. It's so annoying, but the product itself is pretty good. At the moment, I'm not in a rush to go and purchase this one, but it was a good moisturizer, and I would recommend it if you have oily skin. It does hydrate, but doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky or like slimy throughout the day. It doesn't make me any more oily. It works perfectly under makeup, so it is really nice. I don't know if I would agree with dramatically different, but I did notice that my skin was nice and hydrated after using it. So, I mean, do that what you will, but yeah, I don't know if I'd be rushing out to purchase it just because the packaging is so annoying. It wouldn't be an empties without my The Ordinary Niacinamide. This is it here. I apply this one every morning as part of my daily skincare routine. I absolutely love it. It really helps to control the amount of sebum that my skin produces, helps to keep my acne and breakouts at bay, um, and has really helped to kind of clear and improve my skin. I've actually introduced a few new like products into my skincare routine in the last couple of weeks. And I mean, it might be too early to tell, but Guys, my skin, I mean, I've got makeup on at the moment, but my skin like is so clear at the moment. I literally have no breakouts on my skin whatsoever. The texture, I don't know if you can tell, like I barely have any texture to my skin whatsoever. A little bit here, like no breakouts on my forehead at all. It is incredible. So I will hopefully be doing an updated skincare routine um, shortly. So make sure you leave me a thumbs up if you are interested in that because... I've got some products to share with you that are changing my skincare world, really. So let me know if you're interested in that because I will totally do it for you. Summer in Australia, y'all, is no joke. So humid and hot. I have some hair care products to share with you. The first is the Di Lorenzo. This is the Illuminate Blonde Toning Shampoo. This is what it looks like here. There's like a Nova Fusion one, which I will pop here, like a picture of it so you can see. Um, but this is a different one. It's a bit more like blue toned I would say I don't know if you can like this is the color of it here it's really kind of dark indigo um purpley blue kind of color it does a really good job of toning your hair but it can turn it purple and blue very easily so just be careful with the how long you leave it on and the amount of product that you use but it's a great toning shampoo if you're after purple shampoo definitely check it out love it I have another shampoo but this is just like a regular shampoo this is the D Lorenzo Alleviate shampoo here this is for basically like dry and damaged hair 
I do really like it. I think it was a good shampoo. It foamed up nice, but like not over, like not a heap. So you didn't feel like your hair was super stripped or anything like that. I mean, it did a nice job. I would recommend, uh, but probably only when they had the packs on sale. That's basically whenever I buy these ones, I buy them in those like duo packs or sometimes they come with a treatment. I never buy them like separate because they're a bit too pricey, but um, in a pack, it's good. I did enjoy it, would purchase again. Now something that I will not be repurchasing. This is the Aromas Aroma Oil Spray. It is basically like an argan oil for your hair, um, but it's in like a spray kind of formula. Although it didn't weigh my hair down, which I sometimes find that some of like just the normal oils do, the spray oil, I just used it way too quickly and I felt like I had to use so much of it to actually get the same effect that I do if I just use a little bit of just like a normal oil. Like I would have to pump this out so much. But for like a normal oil, you just do like one little pump and that was enough and it does the job. So I won't be repurchasing this, although it was nice. Uh, I used it way too quickly and as I suppose it's like 40 bucks for this. So the oil, the normal oil is the same price and I don't have to use as much of it. Um, so it's definitely well worth the money to buy the oil rather than the spray. So I won't be repurchasing this one. Again, not an empties without one of my Rexona like clinical protect deodorants. If you guys are very sweaty betties, this is a great deodorant to really kind of control your sweat, has a nice fragrance to it, love it, and I continue to repurchase them. Not an empties videos without a Daiso puff and sponge detergent. This is what I use every day to clean my makeup sponges. I think it is a great product. It's $2.80 from Daiso, way cheaper than anything from like the Beauty Blender brand. Um, it does a better job than like dish soap. It gets all the little stains out of it. It's amazing, 100% would recommend. My makeup sponges have seen better days at this point and they're looking a little bit manky, so I really need to get onto this and buy some more. So love it, 100% would recommend. I'm like preferencing this and saying, don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to save for a house and I'm not wanting to spend a lot of money on products basically that I just spray on myself and then I just wash off. So <laughs> hence why I purchased this. This is the, I think it's like the Killer Queen, Killer Queen. It's the Katy Perry perfume. And guys, I actually thought that this smelled pretty good. Um, <laughs> I do, look, I am a fan of like my Marc Jacobs. Daisy, like Chloe, Ralph Lauren, they are like some of my favorite fragrances, but at the moment they're not on sale and your girl cannot be affording to go and drop like $80, $90 on a bottle of perfume. So this was $14 from Chemist Warehouse and guys, for $14, I got so many compliments on this and you know, it definitely doesn't last the whole day, but the first half of the day, I smell so, so good. So I would recommend picking this up if you are on the hunt for a cheap perfume to kind of get you through without having to drop a bunch on a like more expensive one. This was a really great option. $14, I would recommend and I would repurchase it. So yeah, no judgment here. Lastly, we're gonna move on to some makeup items. The first um, products are eyebrow pencils and these are the Emco Beauty. Um, eyebrow like pencils. They are like a felt tip liner and you apply them. This one still has a little bit on it, but you apply it like little strokes into your eyebrows and it makes them really fluffy. I think these do a really, really great job. Tanika here on YouTube got me into them. I absolutely love them. They do such a good job. You can pick them up from Woolworths and I think they're about like, I think I got these for like 12 13 dollars or so like maybe even cheaper when they go on sale so they are steel love them they do definitely give you those bushy eyebrows but these are a really great option if you like a felt tip kind of pen for your eyebrows they're really good and they're super affordable so would 100 percent recommend i have finished one of my estee lauder double wears this is my favorite foundation it is in the shade 2n1 this is desert beige this is like my tanned color, if you will. So when I have my fake tan on, this is the color that I gravitate normally. I am uh, one zero one n zero porcelain, I think is what it is. Um, but that's my fair shade, which I'm wearing at the moment. Um, but this is my more so like tan shade. Love it. Love Estee Lauder. Hundred percent would recommend. It is my holy grail foundation. I wear every single day. If you have oily skin, you really need to check it out. You don't need to use it as like a normal foundation. You need to pack it onto your skin. A little bit goes a long way to give you a really beautiful flawless but satin finish which really does stay all day and your skin looks amazing at the end of the day so 100% would recommend love it we'll continue to repurchase and the last item I had to share with you guys today is a primer this is the Rimmel this is the new Rimmel like matte primer um, they've kind of reformulated it. it I feel like it's now 
a mix between the old Rimmel Matte Primer formula and also the Lasting Finish 25 Hour um, mat Mattifying Primer. I think that those just made a hybrid and this is what they came up with. It's a nice primer from the drugstore, it's super affordable, but I actually think I prefer, this is what I've got at the moment, this is the Fix and Perfect Primer, again from Rimmel. I think this is better than the Mattifying Primer, even if you have oily skin. I think your skin looks smoother, your oils are, you know, relatively controlled, but I think that the finish that it gives the skin is just so much nicer than this one. I feel like sometimes your foundation can like cling to this and like, it doesn't have that skin-like effect, it almost looks um, like extra textured if you know what I mean. It did do a nice job of mattifying but this one does a way better job of making your skin actually look nice. So I won't be repurchasing this one and I think I will stick to this one from now on. Okay so that is all of my empties for today. I hope you enjoyed this shorter trash talk. Let me know down below if you have tried out any of those products and let me know your thoughts or if you have any recommendations that you think I might like to try out let me know. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like, thumbs up. It really does help me out as a small YouTube channel. If you'd like to support me, comment down below, give this video a like and consider subscribing. I would love to get to know you. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the week. Be kind to one another and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.